I spent my full Christmas in 2016 sectioned and a lot of people don't know this and even some of my close friends don't know this. It was a period in life where I thought that things were just going to an end and things were just not working out well but through a lot of teachings and through a lot of spirituality and a lot of epiphanies, now I look at it as being a good thing. There was a there was a, a pinnacle point being in uh, being in the mental home where so some guy came up to me, he told me something where he, uh, one of the guys, he said, these motherfuckers are crazy, you're not crazy. Like, you're, you're, you're just going through a tough time in life. He was really looking straight in my eyes, like really piercing, and he said that like, you shouldn't be here, like you're destined for more. He really told me to, to look inside. He said, follow the ones who have gone before and follow the ones who were, who, who were there for you as well. It took me, it took me a couple of days to, to really understand it. It was a pinnacle point that made me really switch and the light bulb switched on what I should do and me getting out of there and like healing my mind and healing my body and everything around it. I got released on Boxing Day, then I was back with my family missing Christmas and I had my support group, my friends were really around me, like they gave me that, that hug that everybody needs. And as uh, soon as I got out, it was one of those where I, I said to myself, I'll never, never go back to that point. Life really changed after that. I, I had more spirit to, to live. After leaving the mental home, I knew what I had to do. I knew I had to focus. I knew I had to go to the zone and just put pen to paper and just go at it. So for the next two years, I locked myself in a room. It was a lot of tunnel vision. I, I blanked out everything in the outside world and it was a good two years of just putting pen to paper, not making anything, just drawing, writing down the foundations, really homing in on what I want to do, the mission. Schizo was born in that room. All that creating, the two years spent just focusing. Everything which I put down on pen to paper was, is now becoming a reality and now it's beyond anything which I can imagine and it's now pushing on further from that. Schizo has never been about me, it's never been an I thing. I always wanted to include other people and build a community. As the brand started growing and I started putting it out there and really showing the garments now and showing everything which I could do, uh, started people started gravitating towards it. I met Molly probably like, I'm going to say four years ago now. Um, funny how we met as well, it was literally, followed me on the gram. This guy had literally just one post on both of his socials, but both of the posts were just hella intriguing. So I was like, who's this guy? I dropped him a follow back and reached out to him. It's just like, yo, what's your stuff like? Tell me about it. Like, I'm seeing stuff, but there's not enough. Tell me more. A week later or so, he was like, yo, I'm going to be out in Manchester tomorrow. Like, let's link up, let's meet up. I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. Met with him the next day. This guy surprises me with a custom denim jacket. And then from there, it's like, you know you meet somebody and you're just like, straight away, energy's there, the vibe's there. Jaron was the first person uh, to, to join Schizo. He, um, he, he, he showed a lot of love, showed a lot of desire, and we had a lot of thinking. And his mind and the way he thinks about things and articulates everything. And it's not about just the clothing, it's about bringing in life things. And, we had that connection straight away where he'd understand what I'd want without even saying anything. The trust that I, I put into him and the trust that he gives me is, 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 is crazy. Again, being very fortunate to meet uh, Oz and uh, Oz coming into the group and him being this character where he fit in, in the lines of our ethos and uh, what we wanted to build. I'm an art director and also I have a little hand in graphics here and there, and I also do the web development for Schizo as well. Whilst we all have our individual roles that we all like stick to, we all sort of like, it's like a rotation in it. So if you imagine them sort of sword scenes here where they're all fighting and everyone stood back to back here, and it's like, whoop, whoop, and then like, you know, an enemy's coming from this side, it's like, whoop, whoop, whoop. that's the same way we all sort of spin roles in it. So it's like, whatever we need to do, we fit that role. He'd think of things that we wouldn't be able to think of. I met Mully through Jaron like a couple of years ago. At the time, yeah, I was at 
to be honest, a really, really rough place. You know, I wasn't feeling myself too much. Like I had a lot going on mentally in it. Like, you know, like I was in a, I was in sort of like a dark cloud at the time in it. And obviously I'd spent the weekend with like Mully, I spent the weekend with his friends and all this sort of stuff. And like, it was like the environment I was in, I loved it. Like it was, it felt like home. Like, you know, when you're somewhere you're like, all right. You know, I don't really know where I'm meant to be, but I like where I am right now sort of thing, innit? Like, you know, the way he treated me, like the sort of like love that you felt, like, you know, like when you felt like real genuine love in it. And I really just, I just love the vibes in it. Mully to me is like a, He's like an older brother, like, I'm the eldest of five, so I don't have an older brother. But if I did have an older brother, it would be Molly. Last year or two, we've added Ken to the team as well. And uh, he's also another key part to the team where he helps me out within the warehouse. I've always been in and around Moles. Moles has been doing this literally as long as I've known him. We used to come to my house and we'd be painting stuff, we'd be doing stuff together. So it was about, I'd say it was about summer last year when I, when I really, really joined, because I just felt like that, that what I could add to it, I knew I could kind of ease a lot of the creative stress. Because obviously, when you're trying to run a business and you're trying to run, a, especially a clothing line, there's a lot more that goes to it than just designing clothes and doing that, so. Now him being a part of the team, it doesn't really feel like any different because he's always been there regardless. But now, with things growing and changing, it's good to have him a part of the process as well. Moles is like my brother. We butt heads, we love each other, rah, 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 like. With Moles, Moles is, is, is very confident and he knows, he knows what he wants and he knows that I get there. He'll sit and listen to what he's saying and then he'll be like, right, this is how we're going to do it and this is how it needs to be done. Let's get Soul's family. Moles is a genius. He's just one of them cool, calm, collected people that you just need around you and need. He's passionate. The head honcho, he's the captain of the team, isn't it? The sheer drive that I see from him is what wakes me up in the morning, for real. Um, he's kind of made it very, very clear that, yo, the only way you're going to get something is if you put the work in. There's no ceiling for Moles, really. There's, there's, there's a lot of people that say they want to do things and they say, oh, I do this and I do that, but do you really do it? Like, do you put in the hours? Are you there? He completely, like, reshapes how... Yeah, he's reshaped the rules. He's completely bent how this fashion stuff is supposed to roll. All these teachings, my culture, my tradition, it's spurred me on to where I am right now. There's not many people that have the determination to like really pursue their dreams and like really try to achieve what anybody can achieve if you put the hard work to it. And that's, that's why I wanted to be a part of Schizo so much because I saw, I knew where it could go and I saw the potential in Moles and I saw the potential in us all as a collective. And I saw the potential in us obviously moving to Manchester and where we can really start to build a base and, and, and take off. So yeah, Moles, Moles is, Moles is, yeah, Moles is my best friend in it and, and yeah, so. You can achieve anything. What I'm achieving right now, I never really thought I could even achieve or even get anywhere close to. But through friends, through family, through my granddad, even though he passed away, being still being my mentor, all these teachings, my culture, my tradition, it's spurred me on to where I am right now. Get off my dick, I'm pissed, this bitch is sending shots by the mist They're taking the piss and I'm taking a risk, I ain't making a wish I just make it happen, I stay in the mix Them niggas be slacking, they'll stay in the bits Jokers, I'm laughing, I'm not being chatting She looking her lips and grabbing her hips No looking at me, she looking at the ice Filming, filming, big bots, all day Just saying that I'm big sick Come on, 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 come